Hi, this is Gina with Office Productivity Trading, and today I wanted to show you how to use the filter function in Microsoft 365. This is a new function in Excel, and basically what it does is it'll extract a subset of data based on criteria. So what I have here is I've created a, a worksheet that I'm going to use as a dashboard. And basically up here, I'm looking for a specific work date from a list. And right next to it, I actually created a drop down of different dates from a different sheet. But I what I want to do is be able to pick a date and then have it down here. It's looking at some work order information. I want to filter the list to just show me this information based on whatever date that I pick. So to do this, I'm going to use what's called the filter function. Now the table that I'm going to pull from is from this work order sheet. And if you look at it, the table actually has more information than what I really want. So I'm going to basically have it so it only filters the first column, which is work orders, all the way to, I believe, column P, which is our labor cost. That's all that I want it to see. So the work I had to do before is in that sheet, I had to basically copy and paste the headings from that table. So I'm going from work orders to, it looks like, parts cost. All right, so what the filter function does is it's basically going to tell it to go to that sheet, um, select the data from this table all the way to the payment column, and then filter it based on the information I have in cell B3. So here, let's do it. So I'm going to click on cell A6, and I'm going to just hit this little insert function button, or that little FX that shows up on the formula bar. And I'm going to search, it's already here, but I'm going to search for the filter function. And once I find it, there it is. If I don't have it, that means I don't have the latest version of Excel. This is available in the Excel 365 version, or I believe if you have the 2021 version. I'm going to click OK. The first thing it needs to know is the array. So that is the list, the data set or table that I need to filter. So I'm going to go to work orders, and I'm going to select the data, not, not include the columns, but the data all the way to that parts cost column. So I'm just going to get my little arrow there and select to parts cost. Okay, so that's the first thing. So that shows up as the array. The next thing I have to tell it is what information do I want to include in order to get the criteria to narrow it down to what I want to filter. So in the include, I'm going to go back to that work order sheet and I need it, the criteria is based on the work date. So I'm going to click on the work date column just to get the data part. But that has to be equal to, so I'm going to type it equal, use a little Boolean logic there. Go to that sheet that the information is going to show up on. So I just went to sheet one and I'm going to select cell B3 because that has the criteria that I need. I don't have to do with the if empty, but basically that's if I pick criteria of a date that doesn't appear in that list, I can type in a message that could show up. I'm going to click OK, and there it is. It filtered the list based on my criteria. If I go up here and change the date, the list changes to match my new date. So it's actually a very nice little function if you want to give people information where they're not going to see all of the data in a specific table and you give them an easy way to filter it. The other nice thing about it is because it's a function, there's no need to refresh. If I were to create a pivot table or I were to use Power Query, I'd have to hit a refresh to get the latest information. That's the benefit of using a function. So I hope you enjoyed learning how to use the filter function in Excel 365. This is Gina with today's tip.